right, you're still watching Waze. Now, March 15th, um, the customer movement marks World Customer Rights Day every year as a means of raising global awareness about customer rights and needs. Celebrating this day is a chance to demand that the rights of all consumers are respected and protected and to protect against market abuses and social injustice, which undermines those rights. Are customer rights respected in Nigeria? No. Well, I think it depends on the industry because there's some industries where if a customer coughs, something would happen. Like example? banking industry. Like you can't, okay. you don't want to trend on social media. You want to solve issues. And that's because that institution is so developed and it's so regulated. Structured. But, yes. And so we don't have that everywhere. Like I go somewhere, let me use the one that pains my heart most, baggage policy. Mm -hmm. I can't count how many traveling bags have been, you know, destroyed because they, they keep handling it the wrong way. But who do I complain to? Who would attend to me? Who is, so, yes, in, in some industries where you have you know, good regulations and a bit developed and have structures, somehow something is working. But the one where we don't have anybody to talk to. No, but you, in fact, for me, I just feel like, you know, I don't think there's any industry that you cannot actually lay a complaint. So it's not about the industry. It is about the policies, you know, that, that protects the consumer. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, if there are those right policies and you can push for it, I mean, and again, if you have the power, because it's, it's, it's connected. Um, I think some people don't just have the energy so to go is, through the legal route. They don't want to do... So there are too many things linked here is to what, it. Here is what I think. Even when it comes to the bank, I think it depends on how much you have in your account and how valuable you are. I'm saying because if a man has two billion, I don't know, naira in the account, and then someone has 2,000 naira. naira in the account. Guess what? If you have any challenge with the bank, they'll attend to the 2 billion naira man ASAP, and then yours will be like, wait for five working Sandy. days. It's true. No, Sandy, I would want to disagree with you because it's something that I know has been working. So now it doesn't really depend okay, on Okay, it might just be your it's bank. Select, the, the, the rights exist, but it is selected. I have 2,000 naira in the bank I will not mention. <laughs> so I went to an eight, um, a pill, um, sorry a mall. Yeah. This I was trying to buy something over the counter. The bill was two thousand. Mm -hmm. I swiped the card. They debited my account till today. This is over. In fact, I've forgotten about it because I don't have energy. Because how can I be running up and down to go and be chasing two thousand naira for goodness sake? It's draining. So, and guess it? what? There are million and one a million and one people that are going through that. That is. I want. I want. If it's big money, they would answer me. But ASAP. because yeah. So I, I, I'm like, okay, I'm done. So let me just rest. Just rest it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for resting it. All right, so um, let's start with um, Sanzi. What did you find for us in today's news? Okay, so um, coronavirus, uh, obviously, so far we have the death fatality rate about over 5,000. Now, National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, has warned Nigerians to stop um, buying secondhand uh, outfits and, you know, yeah, I think okay. okay. Yeah, okay. That, that's what we call it because a lot of these people who um, who pass out or who are infected with uh, coronavirus, when they get down the clothes, and there are chances that you know the virus. So might I, be I in kept there. asking this and, question: okay. that How long does the virus um, stays okay. outside of a human body? I was, I was, I was not getting answer. I was, I was yeah. getting there. I think uh, the survival uh, it survives for like twenty four hours, and then also we are looking at the temperature in Africa. The heat alone in the it, it's of, of, <laughs> it of course it usually comes already. through cargo, right? So the heat there, I, I think it would die off. Before well, it gets here, and then I, if you get your I, clothes, I just feel sometimes this is our, wash this is our it. law enforcement. They just want to wash be in the news. They are looking for something because to honestly, you can't stop the the average Nigerian who doesn't have enough money to buy one outfit of ten thousand naira. You go to second hand clothes. You are even talking it about outfits. So I lived all my life in Kaduna State. Right, right. I can imagine for um, the people that lived in Jos and the people that live in Zaria County. Right. Yeah. Have you been to the north when it's cold in the wind, um, the cold season? You will see people wearing four stockings. Uh, yeah. Where do you get all those costumes from? The jackets. We don't have. We, yeah, we don't have no, winter jackets in Nigeria. That's so true. most of the so most of the Okrika things that I had growing up were from all were all imported. So your winter jacket because you must. If not, you die of cold. True. So what are they saying that you will not wear uh, Okrika? They all right. Please. <laughs> Ek, what did you find? No, that's supposed to laugh. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like sometimes it's like they just want to trend because okay. they don't have anything. Come on, it's so dumb. I'm I'm go. sorry about that. Yeah, let's go. Okay, my story is taken from the Guardian. All right. It's also linked. to... Oh, my story was from a nation newspaper. Mm. Okay. It's also linked to coronavirus. Right. Um, Inugu records suspected case of coronavirus 
and the suspect is isolated. Now, <clears throat> why this is, um, I'm a bit worried, is yeah. because Enugu is not legal. So I know that everybody in Lagos is so prepared, but do we have the same um, standard and level of preparation in Enugu? Can they handle it? Do they have enough testing kits? So just a lot of questions that are throwing up in my mind and mm. also in my head. And I'm asking, can, so if this is really, let's say positive, God forbid, if it's positive, can they handle it? Can they, you know, isolate let's people listen. there? <laughs> we are Christians, we are going to pray it out. Ah, <laughs> this thing is not funny. It's not funny. As an evil girl. Hmm. No, but I, I hear your no, fear. No, but I, 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 I like to believe that they are that they're prepared for it. I hear your fear, trust me. Outside of Lagos. Outside of Lagos, I'm not so very, sure. It's very scary, yeah. No, but Enugu is quite... When was the last time you were in Enugu? Enugu is quite developed. It's not a matter and of I, developed. No, I, I think developed is... Uh, for, for I'm, I'm looking for the right choice of word, but developed comes to mind in that they have the capacity to handle, you know, if, if there's any outbreak, which there is none, but per adventure there is, I think they're equipped. Until then, I'm praying for this suspect. Like he's he just turned out negative. And like it's, it's just, just a, a common, scare. yeah. It's better that it's just a scare. Yeah, because it's it's actually imagine if Ebola had um, wasn't can we not wasn't in Lagos. ever remember Ebola, ha. please? Thank you. It was but really scary. Learned, so. Yeah. Mm. All right. So my story is also I mean what we had mentioned earlier the explosion that happened in the Festac area. Mm. Um, I mean the explosion. According to some eyewitness, they said that um, a Catholic private school, um, Beth. Beth Bethlehem Girls College was yeah. badly, you know, affected. And they have Why thousands of, I mean, I mean, not thousands, a lot of houses, you know, and they are, they are, they are afraid that there are people that are trapped there, they are dead. And um, although they haven't really ascertained the actual figure, but mm -hmm. they have, they are, I mean, they are, they've confirmed that some people are already dead from the explosion. That's so. sad. It's really sad. It's so it's sad. It's really sad. I saw the videos online, people calling out for, um, what was it called? I think, but I, I hear Lasema actually um, moved in swiftly to the, to the but, oh, that, yeah, but you see, so underground painful. explosions like this, I don't know how they'll be able to contain, you know, the damage that would happen. Because I saw some videos, people's houses, literally, all the, the glass windows were shattered on the floor. So it's really, really crazy. That's the the footage. Fine. Yeah, it's really, 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 really scary. I mean, so, it, I oh so now goodness. do we even know the source of this explosion? I think before the end of the day, we probably we'll would get, find like, out. It's a developing we'll story. Yeah, it's so. a developing story, so we'd really find out what. So the, because the, the um, National Emergency Agency said that the explosion wasn't from a pipeline, so we as speculated, that. but it was from a factory in Abule, Abule hmm. Ado. So, yeah, and they did yeah. not give the name of the factory? No, not I yet. I think it's a development story. It's a, by by there, Monday morning or Tuesday, we should be able to have full details of but what my, happened. My heart just goes out to all of Honestly, them. Honestly, it's so sad. It On is a so Sunday, sad. There like, are no you're not... words. There are just no words to comfort anyone who had... Really the scary thing of just losing a child <laughs> that my, you think was safe. All my children, they're boarding house. I don't it's, even know. Hey, so, the the I can't even think about it. Because, yeah. like... So your children are safe in school. school You're not thinking, school. and all of a sudden you get a call. How would you feel? Like, my heart really school goes out to dating. everyone. Yeah. All right, so that's all we can take in what's in the news. <laughs> um, Dr. Weber Boyer joins us right after the break to discuss power in Nigeria.